Good morning, friends. You are watching another episode of thegeereviews.net. Video gear reviews. On YouTube, maybe, or somewhere else. On the internet. Today's episode is brought to you by 3,472 cups of coffee, the number 9, and the movie The Princess Bride, out in theaters like 15 years ago, but that movie is still freaking awesome. So, anyways, today we have, I'm Brendan, uh, today we have some awesome geese from Vandal Kimonos that I'm super excited about. Uh, kind of a preview, haven't worn them yet in training, you'll see, one of them's not even opened, but I wanted to do a quick video because I'm really pumped about them. I didn't want to wait, sorry, get a little get a little bit of coffee in me and I get all excited. Um, these geese, Vandal Kimonos, um, at least on my radar and probably yours too, you might have never heard of them, they're a new-ish gee company, but they're kind of just coming out of the gates doing a lot of things right. The first thing they're doing right that I really like, hold on, is they got some really nice gee bags. I mean, it's the same material as their pants, uh, ripstop gee bags, ripstop pants. I like the nice drawstring here. Um, really nice printing on here. Just basic screen printing. Excuse me, nothing fancy. Uh, Vandal kimonos, Hawaiian fine cut kimonos, this is how we roll. But it's nice, and... The screen printing isn't all jacked up. I mean, I run OK Kimonos, and I've tried to have companies in Pakistan and China do screen printing, and it's a big hot mess. It's usually something I think you should get done locally. But, which, you know, with all my t-shirts, I get that print, them printed locally because a lot of times they do a much better job. But these are actually really, really freaking nice. I'm pretty impressed. Little errors here and there, but overall really nice. Next... Um, the first key is we have really nice black. This is their Pro G4 Spec Series. Um, I was testing out the drawstring, so I took it out. No drawstring currently, but it does come with one, I promise. Don't worry. Um, they have some cool seam tape on the inside. This is the same taping that's on the inside of the sleeves. Nice patch logo hit here on the left hip. I like that they put it on the side. I think that's cool. That's where I typically patch a lot of my things uh, on my own pants. Uh, this is an A2. I did try it on. The A2 is a little small on me. We weren't sure if I was going to be an A2 or an A3, so I just got both, an A2 and an A3. Um, so this is they have six belt loops here. You know, seems, you know, really quality construction. Uh, black, looks like pearl weave, gusset in the crotch here. The knee reinforcements don't go all the way down, but they are pretty long. I don't think they'll rip along the bottom or anything. And just kind of your standard little triangle reinforcements on the crotch, nothing super special there. And then on the bottom of the pants, they have the same red taping as well. As you can see on the jacket, which I'm really excited about, like I said, it's a little, it's a little bit small on me, the A2 at least. Um, it fits, you know, not bad, but I think if I washed it and shrunk it and stuff, it would, sh it would be a little small. But right now it fits pretty well. It's a nice, solid pearl weave. You have the red seam tape on the inside again. Same along the bottom of the skirt. I just really like the contrast lapel. I think that's one cool thing you can do with geese. I think everybody, ooh, is it IBJJF legal? Who freaking cares, dude? Who cares? If your academy lets you wear it, rock that. Rock that shit. Whatever. Do you. Do you, boo-boo. Too much. Alright. Um, anyways, really nice. You know, small reinforcements here on the bottom of the skirt. The area doesn't rip a lot. Uh, I like to have bigger reinforcements on there if possible. But overall, really, really nice. Nicely put together jacket. That is the A2 on me. I actually take that back. I think it fits pretty well. If you want to wear it around the Academy, again, it might not be IBJJF legal on me. I'm 6'1", about 210. Probably like 220 though right now. Um, but it fits pretty well. Next up, bam, still in the plastic. Again, really solid gi bag. 
little bit different design on this one. I like the added touch of the sizing on the outside of the bag. It's pretty cool. This one is an A3. And this one has that really awesome mothball smell that some of these have. I guarantee you it'll go away after a wash. But, I mean, I've had these from Tatami that smell like this and a couple other brands. Um, it's really not a big deal. It's just something they use in the finishing and the shipping part of it. It's not, I mean, some people say it's to, to set the dyes. I don't know, but it goes away. It's really not a big deal. Yes, it stinks right away. Um, I couldn't imagine, you know, getting like five of these in my house at once or more. Like, what if I got a whole shipment that smelled like this? That would be crazy. I'd have to store them, like, in another state. Um, but, anyways, this is their Pro Light. So this would be IBJJ of Legal because the jacket is this or the lapel is the same. Um, the A3 will probably fit me. A little bit better width-wise, but I wonder if it would be too long. Let us try it on. So, you know, not bad. I think once I wash it, we have six belt loops here. I think once I wash these, maybe throw them in the dryer a little bit. Like, these could be a pretty awesome fit for me. So another brand that I fit best into an A3. Let's see the jacket here. Oh, I like this. This is neat. So the jacket, very understated on the outside. It says Vandal Kimono's Pro Light on the back. You know, some nice patches. Uh, they went with the flip. So one faces forward, one faces backwards. Not bad. I like it when they both face forward. That's a personal preference. What I really like on the inside is that they not only have the uh, orange and the side vents, but they also have an orange strip on the bottom. Just one of those subtle little things that makes it cool. Um... Cool Pro Light. They have it says, um, "Ride with us or collide with us." Nice, nice little statement there in the inside. The inside of the label it says Hawaiian Fine Cut Kimonos. Again, um, just really cool. I like that they, the label actually is the same. It's just a mirror, not a mirror image, but almost like a, a reversal of the top on the bottom. Really nice. Let's try this on. I think I got this sweet hat on today. I know, you're jealous. See, this one's, alright, so the, the A3 is a much better fit for me, just because I think it could shrink down a bit. If you like your geese, if you're my size, if you're 6'1", about 200 pounds, uh, if you like your geese a little smaller, I'd get an A2 from Vandal. If you like them a little bigger and you want to shrink it, like this one I could actually put in the dryer and shrink, um, which I probably will. You know, I could definitely do that with the A3, so if you like them a little bigger, then definitely get the A3. So it's all a matter of preference. I have people tell me sometimes, uh, you know, oh, this A2 doesn't fit. And I'm like, well, do you have a picture of you in it? And they're like, yeah, look. And I'm like, wow, that actually fits them perfectly. So it's a total matter of preference. Um, A2 would be a little smaller, A2 a little larger, but you can still rock the A2 if you're my size. But all in all, I think these are really nice geese. I really do. I think that they did a good job. They did a lot of things right. They didn't go overboard. They made a pretty solid... Just basic gi with a, a minimal amount of flash right out of the gate. The more, when you're a new company, the more flash you try and do, the more mistakes a factory can make. Um, and typically something ends up going wrong. But with these, they look pretty awesome. I'm very impressed. So uh, definitely check out Vandal Kimonos. Uh, if you have any questions about gis, researching them, buying them, um, maintaining them, washing them, whatever, shrinking... Anything, hit us up, Gee Reviews, on Facebook, facebook.com slash Gee Reviews, and as always, on Gee Reviews.net. See ya. It's gonna get, it's gonna get, it's gonna get louder. Good morning. You are what? No. Nope. Nope. What was I gonna say? I don't know. It doesn't even matter.